and welcome back everybody this is the PA Music Command 2 reporting on another OSS duel this is the old school society Ryu Zaki my man on the left and on the bottom right here has challenged Dark Warrior 77 to an to a raw challenge the winner here of two matches will win the opportunity to go to Obelisk Dark Warrior started his turn with the following cards so you got Sword of Seven Stars it looks like he's bringing out his water deck. Let's see what Ryuzaki has to store, has in store right now. Ryuzaki has a 41 card deck. We're about to see what kind of deck once he puts down his first monster. Because usually you can tell. But it looks like he's going to keep that a secret. He ends with a monster face down and one spell or trap face down. Dark Warrior 77 has the turn. He attacks. Boom. Howling Insect. Looks like we have the midst of an insect deck right here. Howling Insect is a level 3 insect monster. When the card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one insect monster with 15 or less attack from your deck. It looks like he is, uh, he's arm dragging it right here with ultimate insect level 3. His, his standby phase is happening. He's going to swap out from level 3 to level 5. And level 5 gets a pretty cool effect now. If this card is special summoned by the effect of ultimate insect, all... All your opponent's monsters will lose 500 attack. So it's a pretty strong card. He just used Galactic Cyclone to take out Mirror Force, and now he's going to go into the battle phase after summoning Flying Kemar number one. He destroys Sea Serpent, sea serpent Warrior of Darkness. He direct attacks with Ultimate Insect. Dark Warrior is down at 5600. Five cards in his deck. Dark Warrior is doing a 40 card water deck. He All he does is end with a monster face down. Ryuzaki is going to bring out now instead of level 5, level 7. This is a hard card to get rid of because of the attack difference. Ultimate Insect level 7 is a level 7 monster. Makes sense, right? And if it's special summoned by the effect of Ultimate Insect level 5, all their opponent's monsters lose 700 attack and defense. That can be a huge deal in the long run. Ryuzaki puts down Supply Squad, and we'll see if he continues the battle, and he does. Ult Kemar will attack, Atlantean Attack Squad, and the Direct Attack will come in from level 7. And Dark Horse down to 3,000. This first duel might belong to Ryuzaki. And who knows, we might even see Obelisk. Dark Horse 77, he's thinking. Oh, he brings out Swamp Frog. Oh, but he's ready. Solemn warning. Heh. <laughs> Even Dark's mad about that. Ryuzaki. Open field. No cards face down. Dark Warrior has a complete pass. And the first duel goes to Ryuzaki. Congratulations, everyone. And now we're going to go in on to duel number two. But right now, this is the opportunity to side deck. And we'll be right back. Or... Nah, I'll just edit this part out. No big deal. Totally, right? Yeah, like, I know how to edit, really. But Dark Warrior is going to be, be on the lookout for Ultimate Insect Level 7. He might cite it in a Prohibition. But Ryuzaki, he's ready for those water cards. He might even take out, if he puts in Prohibition, he might do Tree Born Frog. But we'll see what happens later on. And now we're back to game number 2. Dark Warrior... We'll bring out Legendary Ocean, but right before Mother Grizzly comes out. And Ground Spider's going to stop him in his tracks. He probably should have put down that Legendary Ocean and increased that attack power. Now Ground Spider can be a very strong insect if placed on the field correctly. Because once per turn, if you control this face-up defense position monster, when your opponent normal special summons a monster, you can change that monster to defense mode. Ryuzaki uses Brain Control. And the direct attack happens. And what will he do now? Mother, will Mother Grizzly return to its side? No, he will not. Mother Spider will take its place. But not before Bombless Trap Hole easily takes him out of the match. Dark Warrior 77, empty field, five cards in the hand, 6,500 life points remaining. Ryuzaki's kind of mad about that. 
But no, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars banishes that sweet, that sweet June to draw two cards. And another discard of Warrior Atlantis for the Legendary Ocean. Looks like he is starting to build up his ultimate strategy, which involves a lot of Legendary Oceans and a lot of pain. Sword, uh, Cross Sword Beetle will direct attack. Dark Warrior will go down to 4700. And now one day of peace is used. Both players draw a card and no one takes damage. Dark Warrior 77, 4700. What will happen now? Seven cards in his hand. He can't do damage, but he can still destroy his opponent's monsters. Kodaris in attack mode. And Kodaris is the level 4 star Sea Serpent with his special ability. You can send one face up Yumi you control to the graveyard to target up to two cards your opponent controls. And you can send those targets to the grave. Which that's exactly what he does. Now he's just completely out of the way. Now he can reset his deck. Ryuzaki puts one monster face down and a spell and trap. Dark Warrior 77, back with the turn. Galaxy Cyclone is used. And that will take out the face down, which is. Twin Twisters. Pa Duality. There's a Guppy, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, and another Warrior of Atlantis. He's going to bring out Squishy in attack mode. Sorry, not Squishy, Slushy. When the card is normal summoned, you can send one Slushy to your, from your deck to your graveyard. If you have three copies of Slushy, either banish or in your grave, you can banish this card and target one level five or higher Sea Serpent. And it looks like, oh, Pitch Hopper. Pitch Hopper was that face down, and he was able to bring out Brain Crusher. Brain Crusher makes short work of Coderus. And now Brain Crusher will bring Coderus to his side. This does not look good for Dark Warrior. Paw Duality, Lodge Voices. He's going to go with another Warrior of Atlantis. And there's that Brigeki. Squishy in defense mode, Warrior in attack, and Ryuzaki is down to 5300. This could still be Dark Warrior's game. He could still win game 2 and bring this to game 3. If Ryuzaki pulls off the win, he'll continue on to match 2. Huh. Now we got Swap Frog. Brings out Treeborn Frog from the grave and direct attacks with both monsters. Ryuzak is now 2400. He needs this draw. What does he have? Hmm. Four cards in his hand, seven in the grave, one banished. He's going to summon Howling Insect. It looks like he's going to attack Swap Frog. Warriors down at 3500. And as long as he gets destroyed by battle, there's an opportunity here for him. Legendary Ocean's being thrown down. And this is not good. Here's that direct attack. Warrior of Atlantis will take out 900. Rezek is down to 1500. Howling Insect. His ability will activate. And he'll bring out Pitch Hopper. Levi Dragon will attack it. And let's see the special summon. What is this? Oh, here's that turning point. Or will Dark Warrior let it? Main phase two. And he's going to destroy every monster on the field. Ryuzaki 1500, three cards is in his hand. What can he do? He'll set one card face down and that's it. Dark Warrior's turn. This duel could be the end. Or Twin Twisters. Definitely the end. Storming Mirror Force was that last face down. And now, just to be, just to be dark. Dragon Ocean Lord, Neil Tobias. For the final card being used. Good game, everybody. This is still anyone's duel. We're now going into game number three.
and game three is started. Between Ryuzaki and Dark Warrior 77. Dark Warrior will start with one card face down while Ryuzaki is setting up his back row. Supply Squad, along with Verdant Sanctuary. Flying Kamar Flying Kamarki number one. One direct attack. Dark Warrior down to 6600. Looks like Ryuzaki might have the opening advantage. But if we know anything from Dark Warrior, he can come back at any moment. Dark Warrior will set another card face down. Ryuzaki has the field. One more attack. He's down to 5200. And one day of peace. Dark Warrior 77 summons Atlantean Tax Squad. And it's now going to be a stalemate, and nothing happens. The battle phase will occur. Kamari 1 will attack Kamikaze. Supply Squad will activate along with Verdant Sanctuary. Verdant Sanctuary is a continuous spell card. If it want to face up insect type monsters, destroy and send to the grave. Its controller can add one insect monster with the same level as the destroyed monster from their deck to their hand. And because of uh, flying uh, Kamar Curry 1, he was able to bring out one more. Dark Warrior isn't doing anything still. 3800, battle phase, direct attack. Dark Warrior's down to 2400. Perhaps he's, perhaps he's waiting for the right moment to strike. We may never know. And he passes one more time. Discarding Levi Dragon. He's not getting the cards he needs. That's what I see. Oh, you see Torrental Tribute activated. He must have been waiting until we had more than one monster. Or any monster. Verdict Sanctuary is being used. And now Pitch Hopper's effect is being activated. When this card on your side of the field is into the graveyard, you can special summon one insect insect type monster from your hand. Ryuzaki will choose Cross Sword Beetle. That might just be oh, and he normal summons another one. So this might be game. We might see the end of match one go to Ryuzaki. All depends on this face down. What could it be? And looks like Dark Warrior is conceding. He throws on Bottomless. And we have match number one underway. The winner is Ryuzaki. And he kept all 8,000 8, his life points. But now, they go to deck number two. And I'm going to refresh along with them. Now the interesting part about these matches, these decks, these tests, you have to be sure that you're skilled not just with one style, but other playing styles. And for a raw to ascend to obelisk, you need to win two consecutive matches with two different decks. Ryuzaki gave a very good match with his insects. But what can he do now? What is his next deck? More importantly, what is Dark Warrior's deck? Let's see the deck lineups. Ryuzaki is on the bottom. He, uh, he is sporting a 40 card deck with no extra. A Dark Warrior on the top is doing another 40 card deck and 9 cards in his extra. What could he be planning? Ryuzaki on the, on the, it's his turn. Dark Warrior ended with a Shard of Greed, Supply Squad, and Don Zerlong. Doxa Cyclones used, taking out Drowning. And what will be his first monster? Leotard, a beast warrior type. If this card battles a non-normal monster, this card gains 500 attack during the damage step only. That is actually very useful, especially in the current game, where all we have are... We have essentially... A lot of the monsters are effects. Even dark warrior type. Oh, ho, <laughs> ho. That might be hard. 
Dark Warrior uses his Breaker early in the duel with no face downs. And Linotar is just miles above that. He banishes his Count to Cyclone. What will he destroy? He's going to destroy his Supply Squad. He's going to let Shardock Reed go. And Ryuzaki will also summon a Domino Finer Lele, a 4 star Beast Warrior equivalent to Goblin Attack Force. Leotar will attack Breaker, and Swordsman Reviewing Light will take out Indomitable Fighter. Now, Dark Warrior is at a very good opportunity to Tribute Summon. The first he will use is Shard of Greed. Shard, gone, two cards, yes. Mystical Space Typhoon, storming, forget about it. Hmm. One card face down. What will Dark Warrior do? His Leotar is... He's, it's a pretty strong card for a 4 star monster. And now we will... And now Dark Warrior will bring out his second breaker. Spell counter will be increased. He clearly cannot destroy Leotar. But he can destroy his face down. And that is Horn of the Phantom Beast. Hmm. What an interesting predicament. Gene Warp Werewolf on the field now. The Atar will attack Breaker. And Dark Hole will wipe the field out. Don Zerlong and his special ability. He chooses ability number one. Discarding one random card from your opponent's hand. That looks like it would have been a good four star card to use. Gene Warp Werewolf is on the field still. Well, just summoned. Dark Warrior will lose 600. This looks like a very even game now. Dark Warrior? Oh, that could be difficult. Tribute Burial, special spell card. It's an, I believe it's still an OCG card. There we go. Once during his turn, you can conduct Tribute Summon that requires two tributes by banishing one monster from each graveyard instead of a tribute. And he just he just wrecked Ryuzaki's field with that Spirit Mill card. Question is, will we see it again? Ryuzaki puts one card face down. And what will Dark Warrior do? Dark Warrior 77. Another Don Zerlong? He's going to use his second ability. He's going to send the top two cards of his opponent's sect to the grave. And the one that we can see is Coach Cap'n Bear Man. And Rizaki comes straight back with a Beast King Barbados. 500 attack is away from Dark. 5800. Now, Rizaki 4400. It's still a very even game, and it looks like both players are evenly taking out their decks. And here's the big change. BLS. More like just BS, if you ask me. Ryu Zaki. 300 life points. Two cards. One on the field. One, on, one in his hand. What will he do now? He's going to pass. And Pot of Duality is being used. Bring out the Fire Monarch. And he distributed Desolus the Firestorm Monarch for no reason. Alright. And the next game goes to Dark Warrior with 5800. Ryu Zaki needs to win the next duel just to stay alive. We'll be right back. And our thor and our second match of the second the second match of our second duel, or something like that, second duel of the second match is going around pretty quickly. Second turn, and already both players are on a rumble. Dark Warrior's done his first turn sitting up his back row, supply squad, shark greed, and bomb strap hole. 
Well, Ryuzaki is easily taking his time with Giant Rat and Galaxy Cyclone. And we have a second Supply Squad on the field and a Breaker. And it looks like he's going to Kamikaze. With Dark Warrior definitely benefiting. How will Ryuzaki come back from this? He already has three cards in his grave. A Bottomless, Jurassic Galleon, or Break of the Magical Warrior. This time he's going to use Galaxy Cyclone on Shardock Reed. Gene Warp Warwolf, a direct attack, and Dark Warrior will lose 2,000. Ryuzak is getting an early lead, but so far I want to say Dark still has the field advantage. All he needs is a light monster for BLS, and all he needs is one handy draw to turn this field around. Even putting down a monster in defense mode just to protect his life points is so so far even better than what Ryuzak can put on the field. Unless he can find a way to destroy those two supply squads. Oh, Enraged Battle Ox. That's, that can be good. And Piercing Damage is used. Denkoseka is no match for the, for the Warped Werewolf. Enraged Battle Ox has brought Dark Warrior's life points down to 3300. Now this could get bad for Dark Warrior very quickly. And Berserk Gorilla. He's going to attack Enraged Battle Ox. And that will be the end of him. Ryuzaki. Ryuzaki will put a monster face down. Then he's going to end his turn. He's not going to come cause this. Dark Warrior 77, Galaxy Cyclone. Then the face down is revealed to be Fire Formation Tekken. He's going to give that 300 point. No, he won't. Guess it doesn't stay on the field. Dawn Zerlong. He will attack the card face down and Giant Rat in its place. Berserk Werewolf will Kamikaze with Gene Warp Werewolf. And Dark Horse 77 has a lot more cards right now. Unfortunately, they're far too into the duel for it to matter. <clears throat> Giant Rat's thrown into attack mode. He's going to come across with Don Zilong. He's going to, Dark's going to draw two cards. And Ryuzaki will be able to bring out Leotar in attack mode. Leotard chooses to attack. Dark Warrior's down to 1750. And that's just the card that's just the card he needed. BLS. Smashing ground will send Leotard to the grave. Tribute burial. And here's Hinotaki Kajusis. <laughs> and that is probably the worst card he could possibly have because that what that power monster did was if this card infects power damage to your opponent they can they discard all cards in their hand during their next draw phase before they draw so now it looks like Ryuzaki's in a lock That is not good. Ryuzaki now. One card in his hand. Oh! Fire Formation Tanky. And he's able to add one level 4 Beast Warrior monster from, from the deck to the hand. And Gene Warp Warwolf, it is. He will attack Don Zalong. And will this happen? Mystical Spirits Typhoon and Salong will only lose 
Dark will only lose 600 life points. And this looks like this might be game. Dark Warrior almost feels like he has half his deck with him. Dark Hole clears the field, and BOS is sent out. Along with the normal summon, Denkoseka. He attacks, and BOS for the win, and the winner goes to Dark Warrior. Best of luck, Ryuzaki. Best of luck for next time. Until next time, I'm saying next time a lot today. This is the PMB Command 2, signing off.